uh, a novel about the sexual revolution set in 1970, trying to, trying to figure out what that was exactly. And um, the novel's called The Pregnant Widow and refers to a wonderful remark by Alexander Hetzen, the Russian thinker, talking about revolutions in general, social and political. He says that um, the dissolution of the old order should make the soul rejoice and not trouble the soul. But the frightening thing is that what the departing order leaves behind it is not an heir, an inheritor, but a pregnant widow. Um, and between the death of the one and the birth of the other, a long night of chaos and desolation will follow. The, we think that revolutions in consciousness are achieved once it's decided it's a good idea. It's never like that. And um, I would say that the pregnancy of the rise of women, sexual revolution, feminism, etc., is still in its second trimester. So I take it, I look at it in 1970 in a sort of control environment. In fact, in a castle in Italy, some young people, all around 20 years old, my generation, uh, who could still remember what it was like before the revolution. None of this would be, you know, unremarkable to people who came later for, who, <coughs> for whom it was already in place. You can remember all sorts of things like respect for the old, completely gone, uh, automatic respect for the old. Uh, the idea that there will be no sex before marriage, the idea that women are a lower form of life, etc. <coughs> I can remember what that was like. Um, as all my generation can. So I thought I would, you know, chronologically well-placed to examine all this.